Hey, 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 how's it going, guys? We're here back in Akihabara, and today we're gonna go check out the Mandarake store here. Now, I'm not 100% sure if we can actually film if we're there. Uh, so, yeah, we'll just for the time being, we'll just jump in there and try and film as much as possible from the top floor down. Uh, so, yeah, if this video does get cut short midway, I do apologize. Uh, but yeah, hopefully before that happens we'll be able to see some cool stuff. So anyway, uh, we just have to go down here and turn left and walk straight and we'll be there in a moment. Okay, so we're outside Mandaraki now, so they've got a few uh, showcases outside here showing some of the high-end items and some new uh, items that they've taken in. Now I think there's about eight different floors here. Yeah, if we check this out. So on the 8th floor we've got the uh, toys with robots, uh, kit sets, and a characters and so forth, Transformers, American toys. Uh, then on the 7th floor, again, toys and cards. So this is the more vintage virtual walking stuff in the middle, cars uh, and the train sets, which is cool. Next up on the 6th floor we've got the Blu-rays, DVDs, games and so forth. And then we've got the Dodging Chef, so if you're a female audience, so you've got your BL, Dodging Chef and so forth. And 4th floor again, but we're more targeted towards the guys. And then the third floor we've got the manga. They do have some anime sales, but generally not many, maybe a couple with that. And then we've got the dolls and toys and cosplay stuff. And then on the very first floor, uh, which is down here, uh, this is the Kai Tori, so this is where you go and sell your items that you want to sell. Um, so yeah, and when it's not summer, you can definitely walk up the stairs, but since it's hot out, I'm just going to take the elevator. So yeah, we're on the 8th floor now with all the cool Transformers retro toys. So yeah, as I was mentioning, uh, the Monday I don't actually open until 12. Uh, so at the moment it's 12.47, so it's not too busy at the moment since it's midweek, which is quite good. Um, if you do come later on the days, it can be pretty busy, and the elevator can be absolutely swamped. So yeah, uh, keep in mind that if you're coming, uh, it might be faster to take the stairs. But it's kind of like a bit of a treasure hunt in here, if you're looking for something specific. But most of the categories are pretty good. That's cool. Old uh, Grimlock. Release of Optimus there. A whole bunch of masterpieces.
Yeah, if you want to do a clip in the uh, Chalgork and stuff, this is definitely a good spot to check out. I have to pick up those auto releases. And I've got Macross. Toto figures, some Beyblade above there. Some old FF Gacha figures. A whole bunch of Gundam capsules over here. Oh. Some mix of old and some new Zoids. Oh, that's pretty cool. King Barrel. Some Ava over here. Yeah, those Ava washes are pretty cool. Just kind of just uh, straight PVC anime figures on the back wall. Oh, we've got some more limited release items. From this case you watch, yeah, it came out about two years ago now, a year and a half. We've got a wall of figma now. Stuff a skin and finger.
Go over your Star Wars figure outs. Hey, baby Yoda. Even got a replica lightsaber strickle. And then a whole bunch of hot toys. And then behind me here we've got a whole bunch of loose Transformers figures and Nendroid and all sorts of stuff. Whole bunch of random stuff. The movie budget is pretty cool though. Get yourself a John Travolta. Alright, let's go downstairs to the synth floor. Okay, on to the synth floor, we'll find our Dragon Ball figure in here. Dragon Ball. So we got a whole bunch of ritual figures down here, which is cool. It's the new Akira bike, I believe. We've got what? King Yudora. Oh, he's expensive, especially since he just got a uh, re release announcement. Uh, so we've got two down here. <laughs> That's pretty cool, the old. Pokemon Walker, Pikachu, Pocket Pikachu. Let's go Pokedex. Got a giant Kirby. Sorting the Pokemon plush. Ooh, we've got some cool kaiju stuff here. Kits in, so figures. Some Nintendo Figma, some figure arts, kind of a 
weird assortment down here. Got some more of those retro toys. Figurats. A bit of miscellaneous stuff. It's got some more Godzilla. Should come and try to figure out. <laughs> here we go. Over oh, random dragon ball items over here. That's the Dragon Raider that comes with the Dragon Ball GT box set. It's actually a uh, TV remote, which is pretty cool. Behind me over here we've got various Digimon items, Tamagotchi, Here we've got <laughs> some random, <laughs> some random old school games, and a whole bunch of different cards. Uh, so we've got various general card game ones like Yu-Gi-Oh, and then just general collector illustration cards as well, which is uh, pretty big in Japan. Not so much these days, but especially uh, back in the 80s, 90s, and so forth. Uh, these were all the rage.
Okay, let's jump down one more floor. So if you're after a retro gaming or anything like that, uh, this is definitely the floor to check out. Uh, not so much for consoles, uh, but they do occasionally have some, but it's mostly just for VR games. A whole bunch of Sega Saturn. Super Famicom Games. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely a shop you can uh, spend hours in, uh, especially if you've got some uh, cool items on your uh, to find list. Um, but yeah, I have a bait down here with all the DVD box sets and so forth, which is pretty cool. Uh, okay, so we made it two and a half floors before being kicked out for filming. Um, but yeah, it wasn't too bad. We covered everything that's uh, the main focus of this channel at least, which is all the figures. So we got the uh, eighth and seventh floor covered and most of the gaming. Uh, as I was saying earlier though, the rest of the floors isn't too much stuff to be honest. Um, unless you're into the uh, porn manga and all that type of stuff. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a shop you can spend hours in searching. Um, and yeah, if you come to Japan, it's definitely should be at the top of your list for um, checking out. There's also a branch um, that's split up amongst multiple shops over in Nakano, which I'll try and cover another day. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this uh, little wee quick tour of Mandarake and want to check out more videos like this in the future, yeah, please uh, do uh, hit that like and subscribe button. And yeah, let me know in the comments below what was your favourite uh, thing that I uh, picked up in this video. Um, and yeah, if you have any uh, advice or I request some future ones, maybe you go a bit slower, a bit faster, or just uh, try and focus on certain products. Yeah, do let me know in the comments below and I'll uh, try and incorporate that into future videos. Anyway, cheers for watching. Bye.